let's learn how to create a graph paper PDF printable in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. With Illustrator open, come to File and New. Select Print, and we're going to go with the standard US letter format. In my preset details, I'm going to set my units to inches. Make sure my orientation is landscape, one artboard, and let's leave everything else as it is. Click Create. First things first, let's add some margins. Come to View, Rulers, Show Rulers, and make sure Guides are unlocked by going to View, Guides, and Unlock Guides. I'm just going to drag four rulers out onto the canvas. So one, two, three, and four. Because these guides are unlocked, I can change their position. So with Selection Tool, let's select the first guide, come to Transform, and on the x-axis, I'm going to have margins of 0.25 inches. So on the left-hand side, we can set this to 0.25 and press Enter. And on the right-hand side, if we select this, Transform, and the width is 8.5, so 8.5 minus 0.25, press enter, and we've got our right-hand side. Now top and bottom, I'm going to set a margin of 0.5 inches each. So again, selection tool, select the top guide, transform, and on the y-axis, let's go 0.5, click enter, and select the bottom one in the same way, back to transform, and on the y, we'll do 11, because that's the length of the document, minus 0.5, and click enter. Now let's lock these guides in place, so view, guides, and lock guides. Now's probably a good time to save this document. Let's go to file, save, save on computer. I'm going to save mine to my DWD images. So save this as an Illustrator file, an AI file, and we'll just call this graphpaper.ai and click save. Press OK. Now let's add our grids. So come to the rectangle tool. Make sure you've got a fill and stroke selected on. So just click to add white fill, black stroke. And with rectangle tool selected, select anywhere on the canvas. So this is entirely up to you. You could do one inch, you could do 0.5 inches, you could do 0.25 inches. I'm going to do main grids of one inch in width and one inch in height. Click OK. Let's just command or control plus to zoom in a touch here. With this square selected, object, path, and split into grid. So if I put my preview on, and now I can select the number of rows I would like and the number of columns I would like. So I'm going to do a 10 by 10 grid within each square. So let's go to 10 and let's go to 10. And the nice thing is this will actually give you the width and height as well in inches. So every grid I have is 0.1 inches by 0.1 inches. Once I'm happy, click OK. Let's bring this stroke weight down. So let's come to my stroke panel and I'm just going to bring this down to 0.25 and press enter and selection tool to select off. Now let's create a second square. So repeat this process. So rectangle tool, click anywhere on the canvas, one inch by one inch, click okay. Let's use selection tool and just bring this over to the left slightly. Again, object, path and split into grid. And this one, I'm just going to have two rows and two columns, I'm going to overlay this one over the top of this one and click OK. So all these squares have a white fill. So with selection tool, I'm just going to click and drag over all the squares, come to the left hand side and let's just check off this fill so that we just have a stroke and select off. Right now, as you can see, these squares are individual squares. So let's use selection tool, click over all these squares, right click and group. And let's do the same with these four squares. So select over the four of them, right click and group. And I'm going to bring up the weight on this one. So come over to my stroke panel and let's bring this weight up to, let's say, 0.75 and collapse. So make sure the thicker squares are in front. Right click, arrange and bring to front. And then using selection tool, we've got this group here and we've got this group here. So select both, align tool and just horizontal and vertical center the squares together so that you have one complete grid. Let's command or control minus to zoom out. And if you go to view, make sure you've got your smart guides turned on. This will make life a bit easier. Now with these two selected, let's grab them and click and drag. And let's put these in the top left corner, aligning with the guides. And if I just zoom in slightly, just to make this a bit easier. Now, if I hold alt or option, click and drag out and hold shift to keep it in line and pull out to the right until this snaps to the intersect. And now let's repeat this by pressing Command or Control D to duplicate. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I have my top line of my grid and let's just do the same. So selection tool, click and drag over this top line to select them all. Hold out or option again, click and drag out and hold shift to keep it in line. Pull it down until it snaps to the intersect. And then let's repeat this again, Command or Control D. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there is my completed graph paper. So one final thing then, 
if I use selection tool, I'm just going to click and drag over all these squares, select the stroke, and let's just change the color. So if I come into my swatches panel, let's just switch this to say blue, collapse swatches, click off. And if I go to view, guides, high guides, I can now see the full graph paper on the screen. Let's just command or control S just to save this source file. And finally, now that this is done, we can export it as a PDF. So file, save as, save on computer. I will save this in my images folder. So I'm going to change my format to PDF and I'll keep it as graph paper.pdf. Click save. Let's set my Adobe PDF preset to PDF 1A 2001. Happy then with compression. I don't want any marks and bleeds. I can leave all those other options as they are and just click save PDF, press OK. And finally, if I come to my images folder, there's my original AI graph paper, and then there is my PDF ready to be printed. And anytime I want to go back and make changes, I can go back into this AI file and I can change the number of squares in the grid, I can change the thickness of the stroke and so on and so forth. And there you have it. There's how to make a very simple graph paper PDF printable in Illustrator that you can print off and use as many times as you like. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.